Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. Hey, have you ever known somebody who was holy? I don't mean like holier than thou kind of a bad attitude, uh, but a person that you looked up to as a spiritual example of what it meant to be a follower of Jesus. You see, I got news for you. God calls all of us who are followers of Jesus to be holy. He wants all of us to be holy. He, he says that in 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 13 through 16. He says, Therefore, preparing your minds for action and being sober-minded, set your hope fully on the grace that we brought to you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. As obedient children, do not be conformed to the passions of your former ignorance, but as he who called you is holy, you also be holy in all your conduct. Since it is written, you shall be holy for I am holy, says the Lord. Now, that may be a tall order for you and me. That may be something that we need to think about, but uh, here's, here's what it means to be holy so you can understand how to be holy as God is holy. See, to be holy like God is holy means to be different like God is different. He's not like us, and so he's calling us to be like him. Different in so many ways. And we can get ideas from this passage about what it means to be holy, just from what it says in Scripture. So the first thing is to prepare your mind for action. Uh, there's a lot of people who prepare their minds and don't do anything with it. That's not being holy. That's just being knowledgeable. To be holy is to prepare your mind for action, to serve God, to bless people, to love people, and to give generously. That's what it means to serve Jesus and to be holy because God is loving and God serves us and God blesses us and God gives generously to us. So if we're going to be like God, holy, then we got to prepare our minds for action. Secondly, it means to set your hope on your salvation, to place your you know, reason for living in the reality of God's grace, that he loved us, he sent Jesus to save us, and heaven is our destiny because of Jesus' grace and mercy on the cross. And so when you place that as your hope, hey, my hope is in the salvation of God through Jesus Christ. My destiny is to be with him forever. He's with me right now. Then that changes the way we live. And it makes us think differently and act differently because our hope's not in this world. It's in the person of Jesus and eternal life. And when heaven and grace are oozing out of your pores, then you're being holy like God is holy. I mean, just read the Gospels. That was what was oozing out of Jesus all the time. Grace for people, mercy for people, and the hope of eternal life. And then finally, if we're going to be holy, don't indulge the flesh like you used to. Okay? Look, we're all sinners. And God does not expect you to be perfect, but he does expect you to make progress, to, to get better at overcoming temptation, to you know, learn to live in the freedom that he's given us in Jesus Christ. And yes, you're going to make mistakes and you're going to fail. That's why God's grace is what we place our hope and trust in, not in ourselves and in our goodness. So uh, let's just grow in our love and our faith and our knowledge of God and in our obedience to his commands. So we are called to be holy as God is holy. Let's make the effort to live as saints of God, holy ones of God who are loved by Jesus and called to serve him. I hope that blesses you and I hope you have a blessed day.